Destroyers are the cheapest surface ship available in Arts of Iron 4. Their main roles include, but are not limited to, screening heavy ships, deploying sea mines, or hunting submarines in an anti-submarine warfare capacity. Most nations that start with a pre-existing navy usually have a lot of destroyers already deployed, but may not have the best templates. You will find that oftentimes destroyers are one of the few ships you actually want to build, because you are bound to lose a lot of them in combat. When it comes to destroyers, there are usually two schools of thought. You either want to deploy a whole lot of the cheapest possible destroyer to soak up damage from enemy navies or patrol giant areas, or you want to deploy deploy quality destroyers to hunt down enemy submarines. When using cheap destroyers, it is important to deploy them en masse to screen your heavy ships. It is important to think about what your navy needs. The Royal Navy, for example, can get away with building bare bones roach destroyers because their starting destroyers already have a lot of additional modules, whereas the Italian Navy may want to invest in adding torpedoes or other modules as they start with way less destroyers. When using destroyers in an ASW or mine lane capacity, it is important to use them independently, as ships without the capacity to drop death charges or deploy mines simply do not contribute to combat or to the mission. And and thus are just a waste of fuel that are slowing down your task force. A third and final option to use destroyers for is to bait and kill enemy air forces, but this is not very effective cost-wise and thus not recommended under most circumstances. Based on what we discussed about the destroyer's possible roles, here are some templates you might want to use. Keep in mind this video is not the be-all end-all, and you may situationally want to use variations of the templates provided. First off, the screening destroyer. Like we discussed, you either want to completely cheap out on it, or add modules based on your navy's needs. For a navy like the US or Royal Navy, you can get away with simply building the cheapest possible template to fill any hole left by combat casualties. When it comes to the Italian Navy, however, you may want to build some destroyers with torpedoes, as their starting destroyers are already considered roaches themselves, and you don't have a lot of them. Do not get baited into investing in light attack, as generally speaking, destroyers don't provide a lot of it, and you will get more out of torpedoes in general, as when torpedoes do hit, they ignore ship armor. The second option are ASW or anti-submarine warfare destroyers. Here are once again two different schools of thought. If you are partnering your ASW destroyers with spotting cruisers, which we will cover in the next video, you can go for the cheapest possible roach destroyer with one depth charge module. But if you want to only use destroyers, you want to maximize engine, sonar, radar, and depth charges on the top row while ignoring everything else. Make sure to use at least Radar 3 as lower tiers do not provide subdetection. One caution about using late game destroyers is that they are costly and research intensive, whereas you can build Roach ASW destroyers from day one with little to no investment. Finally, an alternative use of destroyers is baiting enemy naval bombers or tactical bombers in naval regions. For this, dual purpose or DP destroyers can be useful. A DP destroyer, however, is a significant investment, and there are usually better ways to deal with air forces, such as having your own. But for those of you who like variety, the DP destroyer can be an interesting one to use. If this video was helpful, feel free to subscribe and leave a thumbs up, and if you didn't like it, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day.